Hey everybody, it's Matt here from Piano Blog. Today we're going to talk about Alberti bass. Some people have, or most people have, a lot of trouble with the technique of Alberti bass. So I'm going to change the angle here so that everyone can see the, the piano really well. And I'm going to walk you through the specific steps of playing an Alberti bass. So one of the biggest mistakes people make when they have an Alberti bass pattern is they don't try out active hand positions versus uh, relaxed or uh, quiet hand positions. So they'll, they'll try to play the Alberti bass more like this where the fingers are just touching the keys and they're just going from the key. You see, I'm not actually, none of my fingers are leaving the keys when I play. And you can do this but I find it's much more helpful if you can cultivate an active hand position like this so that only one finger is touching at a time. And that helps a lot with quick uh, Alberti bass patterns. Like this. Anything that has to be kind of quick and really articulate. Uh, now, the other big mistake is that people don't understand the exact motions involved in an Alberti bass. So I want to break these down as best I can for you. You actually start with a forearm rotation or sometimes it's called a wrist rotation, from the bottom note to the top note. And then there's a movement more from the finger in the middle, like this. You see? And then a rotation back. So it's rotation, rotation, finger, rotation. Rotation, rotation, finger, rotation. Most people sometimes will do this. They'll try to do rotation and then rotate back to the middle finger and then rotate to the thumb so it looks more like this. And that's too many rotations and also you don't, give a, you don't have a break in terms of the motion so you're trying to do constant rotations. So I find it's much more effective if you start here and then you rotate and then the finger rotate. One way to practice this is actually to practice what I call the thwack motion, where you're thwacking like this. You see, so I'm coming from above the key and doing that. And you can also practice actually doing that motion and landing on the top note and then landing back like that. I'll do it in mirror image so you can see. You see, I'm thwacking from one finger to the next, and it's a it's a quick motion. You'll know you're doing it right because you'll feel very relaxed in here and you'll get a really big sound because the whole arm is behind that quick thwack. Okay, so you start here, thwack, and then a movement from the finger from here, and then thwack. So this is a little different than how many people approach our birdie bass. I would start by practicing this motion and then add this in. And if you can do that while keeping an active finger position and a relaxed forearm, you'll find over time that you can start doing this, groups of four, and it's very easy. It should feel very, very relaxed and then you can add them together. Try them in different positions or something awkward, right? Like that. Uh, and the more you practice this, it should become something that feels very, very easy. So if you find that you're muscling into your Alberti bass patterns, it's probably because you're not incorporating that, uh, that order of motions or you're trying to play from the keys without slightly active fingers. One uh, note or caveat with active fingers, you don't want to come from way above, so it's not this. If you see that, that's too much. Um, it's just a very slight, even just a millimeter off the key. It can make all the difference. If you're coming from this, it's almost like loading a spring a little bit. Okay. Okay, so that's a couple notes on Alberti bass. I hope you find that ha uh, helpful. Practice your thwacks these things and make sure that you get the movements in order. Um, don't rush, take your time, 
and then start practicing in groups and over time you'll be able to build up a really really uh, easy and quick and articulate Alberti bass that'll serve you in all sorts of music. Oh yeah everybody please like and subscribe if you haven't already subscribing helps my channel a lot and you'll get updates when I put out new piano videos and liking uh, is just a nice thank you to me. Thanks a bunch. See you in the next video.